What up? Hey. What's up? What's up? You couldn't find it. No? How you doing? You right? good? Yourself, bro? Yeah, Look good, man. What's up, player? We're here with the big dog. The player's right here. Yo, what's the word? Good morning. Checking out of the hotel now, and I'm gonna be heading to the airport. I'm not going to the, uh, I'm not gonna be heading back to London yet. I'm gonna upload everything that I have to do first. Probably take about an hour or so, and then we'll make way down to London. So I'll be there, I'm figuring around 1.30, 2 o'clock. Check in, and um, just do what we have to do when we get there. I don't have any big plans today. Just gonna work, and then if I need to link up with anybody, I will. I didn't get a chance to run into my boy Ollie down there, so I wanna make a trip, because he lives two hours south of London, so I need to make a trip down and, uh, or back here just to meet up with him and see, uh, see how he's doing. But let me move all this stuff out of here before they come knocking, and we'll get to walking. Slight drizzle coming down right now. I'm good to go, checked out. Hanging these bags right here. Walking to the airport. It's nice that it's so close, this hotel, that the walk isn't too far, so I can just lug everything around and get to where I need to get to in a very short period of time. This is an awesome trip out here in Birmingham. I didn't uh, get to go see the city. I was more on the outskirts area, but next time I come back, to London or to uh, England. I'll come up here and check it, check around the city a little bit more and see what it has, the off, has to offer, excuse me. Cause it seems like a nice little vibrant place to be. It's just, man, when the days go, they go. By the time you get out of the expo and doing what you gotta do, you look up at 7, 7.30 at night, so you just go home and eat. And then for me, I just jump on the computer and I'm up, working. So I didn't make too much time to go see the sights, per se. At the usual spot, large black Americano, laptop, getting everything done. I don't, I'm not sure what time I'm gonna be taking off. I just want all this to finish up. And then I'll go buy my train ticket, which is just right over here in this little terminal area. I think the trains come every 20 or 30 minutes or so. So it's really not a rush at all. Picked up my ticket now to London, Euston. It leaves, well there's a train leaving at 12.45 is what it looks like. And right now it's about 12.35. So the station's just right over here. I'm gonna head that way, see if we can get it going. And they have this thing called like off-peak hours and super off-peak hours. It's basically where the time you can't take off between. So I was trying to figure that piece out because there's certain times that you, you're you not allowed to arrive or something like that. But I think we're good to go. Let me head through this train this way. I think we're at platform, I actually don't know what platform. Platform four? Yeah, platform four is where we are. Gotten to London Euston Station right now. I'm heading to the underground, which is this way over here. I'm gonna be heading to, I believe, um, either Paddington Station, or I was even looking, there's Edgware Street. It might even be closer to where I'm staying. So I'll just play it by ear from here. And uh, let me try to carry this bag down at the same time. Uh. Carry this bag. Yeah, it's sort of loud. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab the Victoria line right here. It's gonna go, I believe, south Victoria. And then once I hit the Victoria line, I'm gonna jump on the Bakerloo, 
won't be good. It's nice to be back in London. It's packed over here. You saw the station behind me was crazy. In the hotel, I like this joint, man. The name of the room is Dog. <laughs> D-O-G. I guess this is why they have pictures of pugs right above the headboard. I don't know if I like that or not. I don't hate it. That's a little different. Pug life, baby. Pug life. <laughs> but this room, this room is nice. The place is a little different to find. I was getting led around a different route when I got off the train station because it wasn't mapped to uh, Wi-Fi. I was just going off my cell connect. So I was like turned around a little bit trying to find it. But this place is sweet. Let's take a look really quickly. As you know, we have the bed. We have the wall. I like how it's, it is like a, a comfort feel with the maroon walls, I guess you would name the color. The bathroom was popping, was popping. This is a nice little jump off over here. I don't know where any of the lights are. Yeah. I don't have a clue where the lights are right now. So once I find them, I'll let you know. I had to open up the blinds because it's too dark in here. Here's the, the bathroom area. Got the shower, looking dope. Okay, I like that jump off. Little sink area, outside window where we are. Boom. Overall, it's a pretty sweet spot. I'm here for one night and that's it. And then we're off to the airport. This is wild. I've never had to experience this before in my life. And I know I've said that probably a hundred times on this vlog out here in London. Check this. If you want power in this apartment place, cause I was trying to turn everything on, lights and stuff, cause it's dark in here without, you know, outdoor lighting. And when it gets at nighttime, I'm like, how the hell am I gonna turn on some lights? This is how you do it. They have this card reader right here. And you take your room key, what I have in my hand, you insert it, and now the lights turn on. You hear the buzz in the background? So if you want power to this entire apartment, or this little stay, this flat, you put that card in that little card reader, and all the energy in the room turns on, or all the power in the room turns on. So now, as we see, I have lights in the bathroom without having to open up the, the blinds like I did earlier. The microwave turned on. I can turn stuff on and off. See? That is nuts. That is crazy. Learn something new every time. Every place I've gone to, I've learned something completely different. That's wild. That makes me want one of those for my crib, man. Drop it in and put a little card in there, turn my power on. That seems like it's super efficient. What up? Hey. What's up? What's up? I couldn't find it. No? How you doing? You like? good? Yourself, bro? Yeah, Looking good, smash. man. What's up, player? We're here with the big dog. The player's right here. I haven't, I haven't done any Instagram stories since Body Proud for that barn. What up? But we came to meet Jeff. Me and my twin brother. Look smart. Looking fashionable. Got your present down there, Jeff. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. Man, what's up with oh, The GV, of course. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Appreciate you calling in, fellas. It's like this is a video you got going on. Yeah, I got video on. How you doing, bro? Uh, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Have a show. You alright? Yeah, really good. The gents right here, my man Tom and Joe, my family from the UK. Do I leave you hanging right there? My bad. Yeah, you guys, okay. Loves, <laughs> loves. <laughs> Yo, I, have a lot of love. And I want to show you what hard work does, baby. Look at my man. Not the Jag. What type of Jag is this, bro? F-type. An F-type. It's just like using loads of gas to it. Got the Jag F-type. My man Thomas, Jim Versus. Telling you, man, these two cats out here, hustlers. They don't sleep. They don't sleep. Proud of these guys, man. Met them back three, year ago, three years ago, Grant Cardone Seminar. Really cool people, man. Love these guys. The man Joe. Much love. You can see behind me, Thomas and Joe about to take off. Got the Jag F type right here. Woo! Oh, beautiful. <laughs> They're out of here. Gone. It's a good piece, man. Love those guys. Like I said, met them back three years ago. We've stayed in touch ever since. Best dudes I know, man. Definitely a 
accommodated me while I was out here. Do I do anything to show my support?